Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4, going over some new details from an interview that Melissa did with Tyler Hoechlin at an event recently. Also, we're going to be going over the episode 14 synopsis and the episode 13 photos that were just released. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So... Recently, Melissa went to an event in America, I believe it's called Wizard World, and it's like a Comic-Con event, and just whilst we're on the topic of that, very soon we have Heroes and Villains London, so if you're going to be around London or Europe, 100% come, I'm going to be there, you know, tons of stars are there, I believe Tom Kavanagh, Stephen Amell, and everyone are there. And maybe we'll get some Supergirl stars. Macar Brooks normally goes. And also, we've got a massive Supergirl type convention coming up. Also in May in Birmingham in England. And that is Star Fury's The Ultimates. And I went last year. It was amazing. I met Jeremy Jordan, who plays Wynn. I met Kyla Lee, Alex. And I met Floriana Lima as well. And it was amazing. And this year, we've got Kyla Lee. We've got Floriana Lima. And we have Odette Annabelle, who played Rain. So, please be sure to come. I'm going to be there. Loads of us are going to be there. It's going to be very exciting. So, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, recently at the event, Melissa actually was able to talk about Kara and, you know, what she likes about Supergirl and what she likes about her character and so on. But the main thing I want to talk about is what she said about her favorite episodes. So, her favorite episode is actually the Kevin Smith first premiere episode when he first came on to Supergirl when it was the Slaver's Moon episode where mon and Kara were on the other planet and that was amazing. I love that episode. That was the start the Kara episode. It's iconic. I love it and it's one of Kara and mon best episodes and it has some great moments because it's mainly them in the episode and it's great. So that was one of her favorite episodes along with an episode that she teased which hasn't come out yet and apparently it's extremely Red Daughter centric and that is amazing because we have all been waiting so long to finally see a Red Daughter episode and to see her come and actually shine through because so far we've only had these little spots in the episode and everyone's been like oh my god we need to see her more because I feel like a lot of us are kind of a bit tired of a few of the storylines like there is some glimmer of you know new stuff every week but it kind of treads on the same similar ground with the whole anti-alien thing and the whole anti-aliens being in America and so on it seems like every week we sort of just go back a tiny bit and go over what has been done already and so I think people are really ready to see Red Daughter and so am I and so what episode could this be I reckon because they've already shot it that is why Melissa mentioned it I think this is going to be either episode 15 or 16. I could be wrong, but I think that is probably one of those two episodes that it's going to be. So I really do look forward to that because I think it's going to be a nice breath of actually fresh air because it's getting a little bit tiring doing sort of the same thing every week after over and over again, my bad. And so let's go ahead and talk about episode 13 and then we'll go over the episode 14 synopsis so episode 13 is titled what's so funny about truth justice and the american way this is going to be airing this sunday it wasn't on this sunday because we had the oscars but it's fine we're back on don't worry about it and so this is going to be this sunday so look forward to that let's break down these photos that was released so we got a photo of Nia and Brainy as they are fighting one of the members of the elite. He's called the Hat. Thank you for all actually correcting me in my last video because I had no idea who he was and I didn't recognize him because when I watched that elite film when they were actually there with Superman, they were the villains, that was a long time ago and I can barely remember them because I haven't read the comics that they're in. But anyway, he's the hat, he's part of the Elite, and it seems like the Elite's going to be sticking around for a while. We get to see this next photo of Supergirl as she's actually landing, or she's about to throw a punch, or she's going to fly off. But you see army people behind her, you see, like, literal soldiers, rather than DEO agents, which I find very interesting. So, is the President somehow getting mixed up in this, 
something weird's going on. But anyway, Supergirl looks amazing. I love that stance. She's about to, you know, obliterate Manchester Black. And this next photo is brilliant. I believe I talked about this in one video recently. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure these photos are new, as far as I know. And so we see Melissa as Supergirl. She's walking down in this very sort of Wonder Woman epic-like way, and it's amazing. We see Jean and Supergirl as she's about to do that, and maybe it's after the fight, I don't know. But we see this team-up shot of Jean, Kara, Nia, and Brainy as they are all standing behind the American in front of the American flag my bad and so this photo is of Alex and it's amazing and she's pointing a gun and it seems like most of this episode is going to be taking place in this warehouse or at least most of these photos are taking place in this warehouse as we see in the next photo we get to see Nia in her suit and oh my god I love this suit so much but I really hope Nia gets the time to shine and build as a character because last episode she didn't get much um, we might have seen Nia quite a lot in the last episode, but we didn't see her in her suit. She, it was like a, lot, a really tiny bit, just at the end of the episode, she just, you know, hits Menagerie, and then Menagerie's parasite gets sliced in half, and that's about it. And, yeah, you get to see the light shining on her suit, and it just looks great, and I'm really looking forward to it. And we see the Elite as they march up together and they are all together so that's menagerie manchester black and the hat and you see the next shot this is inside the oval office i believe they call it in america but yeah inside the white house and it's kara talking to the president she seems quite confrontational he's sort of smirking and this is obviously to somehow get the attention of the president to actually maybe get him on her side against the elite or to stop this because maybe there is some sort of strategic way that Supergirl has to actually stop the Children of Liberty or to stop the elite either or. And so we go over to this next photo and this is amazing. We get to see Don't Brainy with this t-shirt that says don't hassle me I'm local which is a nice sort of reference to him being an alien because you know the children of liberty are like going around beating up aliens so he's like no I'm definitely not an alien don't worry about that and he's got these sunglasses on inside and he's got like a baseball cap so well I I really like this photo it's really funny and moving on to the next photo it looks like she's in catco and this is Alex and it's just a really nice photo, it doesn't give away anything, but it just showcases her. And James is inside Catco, he's looking actually right at the camera, which I find interesting. And you see in the background, there's some news reporting programs, and it says Deadly Bomb Triggers Investigation. Well, Deadly Bombing tr Triggers Investigation. And on the left of that, we see Lockdown with Ben Lockwood. So that's interesting. Pardon me. That's interesting because... I assumed that was, you know, down the drain, but now he's actually out of prison. I guess he's bringing it back to try and control his audience, I guess, the people that watches him and to maybe to rally them up. And I don't know, they're obviously still violent, but this could be his way of just, you know, gathering more people. And we see in this last photo, Kara and James inside the inside Catco, and this is presumably talking about... Lena and James's breakup, which was terrible. I don't know if that's just me, but I really hated that part of last episode. And so they are there. And let's go ahead and talk about the episode 14 title, which is Stand and Deliver, which, you know, just has a reference to the end of the synopsis. But let's go ahead and break down the synopsis. So it goes ben between Ben Lockwood's new push to stir up the anti alien movement and the elite's desire to target Lo Lockwood and his minions, Supergirl is concerned about the safety of the American people, both human and alien. When Lockwood organizes a rally, the aliens decide to peacefully protest. Brainiac and Sean join the alien march while Supergirl and Dreamer patrol to keep everyone safe. Meanwhile, James picks up his camera again to cover the march for Catco, and Haley assigns Alex a job that clashes with her beliefs. When the Elite and Ben Lockwood stir up trouble with the rally, Supergirl is forced to take a stand. A stand is the reference to the title. So, this episode, yeah, like I said earlier, I don't 
think it's that interesting, the synopsis at least. Maybe the episode's really good, I don't know. But it just seems like they're sort of treading on the old ground that they've done so far, and it just seems to be a little bit repetitive this season, and I know I'm not alone in saying that, but I really like this season, I've been really liking it, I didn't like episode 1 and 2, but since then I've really liked it, I was a bit sort of half-half on the Menagerie episode, but I believe that Red Daughter is going to be a nice, nice brush, sort of breath of fresh air that we really do need, and I think a lot of you guys will agree with me that I... I think we need her right now because everyone has been so intrigued and then this sort of Ben Lockwood, Children of Liberty stuff, you know, anti-alien stuff is getting a bit dragged out and a bit too long and I feel like the Red Daughter storyline is a bit too slow burn and I think the sort of slow burn has sort of fizzled out by now and we're just sort of waiting for her and so the synopsis just teases that there's going to be this rally, Supergirl and Dreamer are going to be there to keep everyone safe, Supergirl is going to actually take a stand when there's trouble at the rally between the Elite and Ben Lockwood, so the Elite's going to be sticking around for this episode, potentially a few more episodes, I don't know, and so James is going to be back using his camera again, which we see every now and again, and Haley assigns Alex to do a job that clashes with her beliefs, so I don't know what exactly that is, but that's probably the most interesting part of the synopsis, I guess. But yeah, not too much to look forward to in that episode, but there's a lot to look forward to with Red Daughter coming very soon. There's going to be a big episode on her. I'm guessing it's episode 15 or 16 sometime around there. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.